What is the purpose of Sefirah to Omer? We are well into the count. From the second day of Pesach all the way through Shavuot, day in and day out, week in and week out, we count. At the time of the Beit HaMikdash, on the second day of Pesach, the Korban HaOmer was brought. And the Korban HaOmer um, came from the first harvest of barley for that year. And every single day, up until Shavuot, an Omer, or a certain measurement of barley, was brought and offered on the Zbeach. And then on the 50th day on Shavuot, the first harvest of wheat was brought as an offering on the Mizbeah. But the Midrash tells us that the halacha and the tradition of counting Sefirah Omer long predates the Beit Mikdash. In fact, the very first time that the Jewish people counted Sefirah was the very first year of them leaving Egypt. The day after the very first Pesach, they counted number one. First week, second week, third week, all the way through Shavuot. See, B'nai Israel, they needed time. They needed time to prepare to receive the Torah. They needed time to lift themselves up, to shed away the impurities and then indignities of Egypt. And every single day, they raised themselves up a little higher until finally, they were able and ready to receive the Torah. The Aruch HaShulchan comments on the two sacrifices that bracket this period, the Korban Omer from barley, and then the uh, sacrifice on Shavuot, which comes from wheat. The Aruch HaShulchan comments that in the ancient world, barley was a staple for animal feed and like a lower, unrefined, unrefined crop unrefined food. People didn't really eat barley. But wheat, on the other hand, is a very refined crop. One can make cookies out of it, cakes out of it, very special loaves. And the Aruch HaShulchan says that the transition between barley sacrifice and the wheat sacrifice is the transition between the unrefined to realizing inherent human potential. And so this time of Sefirah to Omer is a time for us every single day to look at ourselves and to raise ourselves just a little higher than we were the day before. Just a little higher, just a little bit more, so that come Shuot, come the time of Maton Torah, we will once again truly be ready to receive the Torah.